All right, today I've got a very quick tip for you that works for two different types of horses. So uh, the main thing is you'll see I've got no spurs on. I took my spurs off right here. I think a lot of times we get caught up in thinking, well, when you ride a horse, you've got to have spurs on. I want you to think back to a time when you're riding a horse with no spurs and how they're lazy and they don't want to go and maybe you're having a lesson or something and then somebody gives you those spurs for the first time on that horse and how it just felt like magic. All of a sudden, that horse that wouldn't lope off, you had to beg them, you're kicking them. You put the spur on, they lope right off, right? Remember how magical that was and then what happens over time, it loses its effect. And then you could either make a choice of, you know, go and do a more severe row, um, or you can do what I'm telling you to do, to squeeze a little more umph out of your horse. I'll use it, I'll, usually I'm using it at horse shows. Um, let's say I have a horse that's a little lazy, and rather than going to being more aggressive or raising or adding more pressure, I'll actually go back, take my spurs off, and you go, wait a minute, it doesn't make any sense. But what I'm doing is, um, I'm, I'm backing the pressure off, dropping it way down. Get that horse to um, do its maneuvers, go through the paces without spurs. And yeah, they're not gonna feel near as sharp, but what'll happen is uh, when you go to put those spurs back on, that horse will have its snap back. So it's kind of a quick fix to get a little more pep in your horse's step. I use this all the time. Now the other thing that taking your spurs off will do if you have a horse that's a little on the antsy side, maybe a little nervous, a lot of times you're just assuming my horse is hot, but you never know. Sometimes it could be related to your spurs. Maybe you're poking them and you didn't mean to, or maybe they're just flat up, they're just you know flat out a little nervous about it. You can take those spurs off and you will feel in a short amount of time, usually in one or two rides, that horse will just settle down, get more and more confident. And a little bit of it, you know, when you're, don't have those spurs on number one you don't have those things poking them but then second I can use my legs a lot more and I can kind of almost sack them out desensitize them a little so this is another thing that I'll use typically at a horse show on a young horse that I feel is just a little on the nervous side a little on edge I'll take those spurs off and I can feel that horse just relax underneath me one other place that it's great for is the lead change uh, I use it a lot at home on the lead change. You get a horse that's maybe super reactive, maybe they're kicking out or they're just, you know, they're real antsy about your leg. Pull those spurs off and just use your leg and your heel of your boot alone and oftentimes your problems will go away. Now, if you've got a super, super lazy horse that might not work, but um, all your other horses, you'll be amazed at how pulling those spurs off for a few minutes will make a big, big difference. And then, you know, don't, don't worry. You can always put the spurs back on. Mine are hanging on the fence. So if I truly believe this wasn't the thing that is working for this horse, I'll put them right back on. But I'll promise you, you got a horse that you're trying to get a little more umph out of them. Take your spurs off for a day or two. Then the day that you're competing, put them back on and it'll be like brand new again. It'll be like, you'll be like, wow, you know, that horse's peps right back. Same thing if you got one that's a little bit antsy. Take the spurs off. More pressure doesn't always, is, is not always the answer. Sometimes backing off is the, is the thing to do. I guarantee you if Bates had a choice, if he could pick, he would say, don't use the spurs every day. Are you looking to step your game up? Perfect. All you have to do is go to mattmillsrainy.com. It's only $24.95 a month. Sign up today because the key to success is knowing.